There are other things, little things that we cannot, if you can't get over it, it has got you bound. It, it's got you, and, and the Bible says you're taken captive by the devil at his will. Now go back with me to Isaiah, and we're going to be done. I'm preaching a little long this morning, but that's all right. Watch you here. Isaiah 52, verse 13. Behold, my servant shall deal prudently. He shall be exalted and extolled and be very high. You see, when we recover ourselves from the snare of the devil, this is what God will do for you. And He said this in verse 14, As many were astonished at thee, His visage was so large more than any man, and His form more than the sons of men. I'm not sure if Isaiah understood what he was talking about, but he was talking about the Lord Jesus Christ hanging on the cross. And that verse literally means that when he hung on the cross, he didn't, he was unrecognizable as a man. He didn't look like a human. He was beaten so badly, his body ripped to shreds. Read Psalm 22 and you'll find a little bit about what his body looked like when he hung on the cross. This is what Christ did for us. You know why I did that? So we could be recovered from the snare of the devil. What does that mean to you? How much is that worth? How much is it worth that Christ did everything for us to live a victorious Christian life and we constantly, every day, bicker and complain and fight about little bitty petty things that don't mean nothing? Well, they hurt my feelings. Well, let me slap you. That'll hurt. You'll get old. Right, Miss Ben? Chuckling it down there. I can make you hurt, but they hurt my heart. But Jesus heals it. And I'm sure you never hurt anybody's heart before. I know I never did. Oh, you're rolling your eyes now? Look at what happened. But because Jesus had went through this and was beaten, literally looked like His body went through a meat grinder, so shall He sprinkle many nations. The, king, the kings shall shut their mouths at Him, for that which hath not been told them shall they see, and that which they had not heard shall they consider. You know, sometimes we don't see and consider things until we're told a lot of things growing up as a kid, Brother Wade, I'd have never thought of doing them things. I got in trouble a lot of times because I heard somebody else say something. I'm going to try that. <laughs> How many of y'all got in trouble for that? <laughs> I never thought of that. That was wrong, stupid. <laughs> oh my goodness, boy, I'm in trouble now. A lot of my problems. You know, if, if I'd have been left alone as a kid, I, there's a lot of things I wouldn't have gotten in trouble for. One of the worst things that you could ever do is send your kid to school. <laughs> Why? Because he learns things that other kids learn from their parents. We learned all our stuff from you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah, you know what it is? Instead of talking about the monument, how God brought us from the, the promised land, instead of talking about the deliverance that God did, we talk about, well, I'm going to tell you, boys, don't do this because this will happen to you. Oh, I didn't think about that. <laughs> You know, my wife all the time, it says, she always did the kid that did jump on the sofa and stuff. And, and instead of saying, would you please just sit down? <laughs> no, it's, jump off the sofa and break your leg! <laughs> okay. You know, stuff like that. She had this knack of being backwards. It's amazing how she could speak in uh, uh, dyslexia. <laughs> <laughs> Don't put your pajamas on and take a bath. <laughs> Don't eat with your mouth full. Don't eat with your mouth full. <laughs> <laughs> she told Jared one day, she said, I want you to get in that tub in that bathroom. You get in that tub and don't you come out there not smelling the soap. <laughs> Went in the back and just 30 seconds later, he walks out and he got a bar soap in his hand. <laughs> Needless to say, he had to run for his life. <laughs> just ain't got locks on it. <laughs> but that's what we do. We learn things.
things, through things we hear, and just a lot of things we shouldn't even listen to. How many of y'all have learned or heard something, read something on Facebook that you'd have never thought of if you wouldn't have seen it? <laughs> the only people that did don't look at Facebook. They got so, that's why I put the crazy stuff. Me and Brad, I tell you what, I like me and Brad have crazy conversations. We'll put crazy stuff up there. Brad put one up the other day and said, if, my, if your phone doesn't ring, you'll know it's me. <laughs> How can I miss you if you never leave? <laughs> but you know, it's fun. I, I, like to, I like to do that. I like to mess with people's heads. I put stuff on Facebook that just mess with people. And, and people look at that. I think people look at that just to say, Let's see how bad I can get at him today. <laughs> if I can control you like that, you got a problem. <laughs> it's amazing. There are some people that told me, Brother Barry, I cannot serve God as long as I'm a member of this church. <laughs> I didn't realize I was that powerful, Rosalie. <laughs> I'm serious. I had people leave me. I, Brother Barry, as long as I'm a member of this church, I can't serve God. I didn't realize I was that powerful in their life. Why? Wow. You know, maybe I ought to push a little bit of that power every once in a while. It, is, it amazes me that people can use any excuse of why they don't serve God except for themselves. Blame everybody else in the world. It's not me. <laughs> what is it worth to us? Life is too precious. Life is too short. To sit around and walk and groan. Friday night we had to sing and sleep. And, and one of the most precious women I ever knew in my life, Miss Evelyn. She gets up there for she can play a harmonica, but I'd like to hear her play the blues on that thing. She can whine and wail that harmonica. Amazing. She's uh, 90 years old. You know what? The kind of woman you just want, she's so sweet. I'll pick on her, boy, she put that fist in my face. <laughs> But you know, it's the kind of woman you just want to hug her and just squeeze her till she pop. Sweet, sweet lady. Oh, I got better things to do than walk around being depressed because you think I should be depressed because you got wrong. I'm going to pray for you and then I'm going to go on. Brother, 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 Let me pray for you. Lord bless you. In Jesus' name, amen. Go on fishing. <laughs> Doing something. That's what we're supposed to do. We're supposed to encourage each other instead of, I'm having a problem. I'm going to come join you. <laughs> Can I bring the chips? <laughs> you got some dip? 